Joan Rivers, an iconic comedian and television personality, extended her creative prowess beyond the world of entertainment into the realm of fashion and jewellery design. Joan started her enterprise in the 1990s when the television shopping network just appeared on the scene. It was her debut as a jewellery designer, but these days weren't happy for Joan. Then, her TV show, The Late Show starring Joan Rivers, was cancelled. Joan rarely appeared on the screen, fascinated by creating jewellery. As a kid, she spent numerous hours drawing pictures of women with lavish earrings. She experimented, sketching drops, hoops, chokers, pearl strands, and simple pendants. In 2007, Esquire magazine published Rivers' quote that she had a debt of 37 millions when her association with QVC began. Bad times are always followed by good times. Joan Rivers, originally known for her fierce retorts, eventually succeeded as a costume jewellery designer. She had a fashion sense. The rhinestone necklaces and brooches seemed appealing to a predominantly female at-home audience. Her first line was sold out in mere hours. Analysts reported that Rivers' jewellery carried the highest margins for the QVC. Though the first item signed, Joan Rivers, appeared in 1990, she officially registered her trademark in 1996. Her classics collection contained over 6,000 items throughout her 24-year collaboration with QVC. The company operated a high-profit margin business. It bought items at wholesale prices and then sold them at a markup, sometimes 75% of the cost. Her book, Jewelry by Joan Rivers, became a bestseller in 1995. It's full of fascinating descriptions of her most admired pieces and stories of her favorite designers, from the Bulgari brothers to Van Cleef and Arpels. The 156-page book is a jewelry guide with specially commissioned full-color photographs revealing how her jewelry was crafted from the first sketch to the final product. Her fruitful relationship with the American free-to-air television network lasted till September 4, 2014, when 81-year-old Joan passed away. She left a tremendous legacy to her daughter Melissa, who now leads the company. Her offerings collectively moved millions. In 2014, Rivers sold 1.2 million items via QVC. The reports claimed the comedic queen had sold 1 billion plus in merchandise through QVC, but her personal earnings from her fashion lines were just a fraction of that amount. Joan's personal collection comprised numerous sparkly pieces from a necklace of Fabergé eggs that was once a possession of Queen Marie of Romania to a flashy brooch with a massive red tourmaline encircled by a diamond snake given by the King of the United Kingdom and the British Dominions, Edward Sevin, to his mistress. Regarding the gemstone brooches, Joan had a large collection of them. She loved to match brooches with her embroidered blazers. The most expensive was a silver-topped, gold-mounted star sapphire and diamond pendant brooch. Fabergé's creation estimated 90,000 at a live auction at Rockefeller Plaza. Other remarkable brooches were a gold and platinum-mounted aquamarine and diamond creation by Fabergé estimated around $60,000 and an aquamarine and diamond brooch from 1908. Joan said, I'm Jewish. I don't work out. If God had wanted us to bend over, he would have put diamonds on the floor. However, such a frivolous attitude had nothing to do with her jewellery design. Joan was meticulously attentive to details, and she literally signed off each piece. Joan Rivers viewed jewellery as art. Joan studied the history of jewellery, so you'll find many replicas of Fabergé's masterpieces among her works. What makes her jewellery collection special? The secret lies in sophisticated design, high-quality materials, and an exclusive combination of colours and shapes. Her collection embodies her multifaceted spirit and eclectic tastes. The jewellery offerings 
display both sides of her personality, the vivacious energy and the refined connoisseur. No wonder there are many celebrities among her clients and their number is constantly growing. Let's examine some coveted jewelry creations that belong to Joan's personal collection under a magnifying glass. Among the most unusual items are rare and important. Jeweled and gold-mounted nephrite study of a lily of the valley leaf. A silk doghouse with a hinged pagoda roof and a purple pillbox. The jeweled and gold-mounted nephrite study of a lily of the valley leaf is just five inches long. It was estimated around $300,000. Tassel necklace. Made of ultra-lux rubies and pearls, it went to the lucky owner for $5,150. The necklace is a strand of cultured pearls with ruby accents terminating in two diamond and gold-capped cultured pearls and ruby tassels. The necklace is adorned with 116 round diamonds. If you are not afraid to make a statement, you might like this amethyst, citrine, and rhinestone necklace by Iraji Moini. It was actually sold in 2016 for a hefty $7,500. The design featured three large cabochon amethysts, 26 faceted oval, 18 round, and 38 emerald cut citrines, 27 oval amethysts of varying sizes, and rhinestones. After these two adorable jewels, you might think Joan always preferred something flashy and eye-catching. However, there are exceptions in her private jewellery collection. This single-strand cultured pearl and diamond necklace by Cartier looks both refined and elegant. Pearls are the perfect finishing touch for almost any outfit. The necklace was sold for $4,150 in 2016. 46 round cultured pearls measuring approximately 0.24 inches are complemented with a tri-coloured 18K yellow-white. Now you see what a remarkable personality Joan Rivers was. This outstanding woman managed to squeeze lemonade from the lemon's fate threw at her. She said, Remember, life is short. Treat yourself right and go for the glamour. Next time we'll tell you about other jewellery pieces she created herself. Which jewellery interests you the most? Brooches, necklaces, rings or earrings? Please share your comments with us.